What if the main character immediately got turned into a zombie, and Mormonism was like really, really bad? Hi Internet, I'm Steve, and welcome to Raffo. Brandon Sanderson has become easily the most popular fantasy author of the decade, and it's totally worth it to read where he started. Elantris, published in 2005, was the sixth full-length novel Brandon had written. It sat on a desk at Tor for four years before they called him back, during which time he had written seven more books. That's eight. Seven more books, including first attempts at Mistborn, Warbreaker, and Way of Kings. If I'm recommending where someone should start with the Cosmere, knowing they're wanting to dive headfirst into it, I say start with Elantris. It establishes a baseline for Brandon's writing, a, a zero point. Style and structure-wise, you know that everything is better than this. Unless you delve into the unpublished stuff, like White Sand Prose, Aether of Night, uh, Way of Kings Prime, Mistborn Prime, Dragon Steel. but I know super nerds who haven't read his unpublished works, so no pressure. It's clearly his first published novel, and don't get me wrong, some people love it. I mean, I love it, but it's some people's favorite. Which is great! It took me three solid tries to get into it. Similar to Fellowship of the Ring, I stalled out in the Rivendell chapters like five or six times. I found on my first attempts there was a bit of muscling through I had to do in the first third. Rereads, however, are glorious. It may be early, but it's still distinctly Sanderson. There's three main characters you follow. Rayodin, the prince who wakes up dead in chapter one and gets dumped into the reverse QZ. Serene, the princess who was supposed to marry the newly undead guy. And Hrathen, the missionary slash secret political saboteur, who I could not picture as anything else but Alan Rickman in red armor. Obvious. Like many zombie stories, the bulk of the book is spent trying to figure out why everything went to pot and people are stuck in unmortality. Rayodin tries to fix the magic, while Serene tries to prevent Hrathen from overthrowing the country. Yeah, by the way, the names of basically everything in Elantris are based on a writing system called Aeons, which use pure vowel tones in pronunciation. So it's Rayodin, not Rowden, Serene, not Serene, and I guess technically Elaintris, and Aeons. Huh. It's Leviosa. Anyway, the characters are interesting and complex. Hrathen is up there with my favorite characters in the entire Cosmere. The world building is incredible. We get at least four different magic systems in this thing. And for Brandon's first attempt at a romance, it's solid. And again, it only goes up from there. The Cosmere was fully in the background when Elantris came out, which is another reason why it's a great jumping off point. Next week we'll be talking about one of Sanderson's recommended intros into the Cosmere, which happens in a different place on Cell, Emperor's Soul. Supporters of my channel already have access to it, so if you want to watch it right now, hop onto Patreon. As always, thank you Doug, Matt, and the rest of my most excellent patrons. There's so many now! So if you want to jump into reading Brandon Sanderson, start with Elantris, and follow the definitive Cosmere reading order if you want to read and find out! All the things and notice connections in the most satisfying way. The Decroix with Trafo tank at Miswa. Alright, do I turn it up or turn it down? Turn it up or turn it down? Turn it up or turn it up or turn it up? Right there.